on to another show that launched on almost the exact same day. Is uh, we'll move on to Stranger Things season four. Um, as I mentioned before, just before we get into it, uh, what have you guys thought about seasons one through three so far? Have you guys liked it? Not liked it? Like specific seasons more than the mm. others? Stacy. Oh, okay. Uh, one had me so good. Two. I don't even remember who the villain was. And three, I can't remember any of was the story, two, two but was just like what the a, villain was. Just, one was the demigorgon. Two was the big one that could like that could like turn into water or puddles or something, and it would like travel around. Uh, and then, I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, there was like a big giant one that was like. Wait, a, how about the mind flare? Right? No, the mind. Like... The mind flare was three. Well, yeah, I feel the mind flare yeah. is part of two. The mind flare and is the three. ultimate baddie of everything. Well, I, I don't know if that's true now. No, after... it is. The mind flare is the ultimate. I think, from what I understand, it's the ultimate I, baddie. Well, that's what they alluded to in Dustin's theory in four, but I don't know if that's true. I mean, well, I'm we're way ahead of ourselves, yeah. but um, yeah, I mean, I don't remember the puddle monster. I mean, you might be right. Two is like the biggest blank spot for me. All I remember mm -hmm. is Sean Astin, and he went too soon. Uh, that's about it. He deserved better. What was his name? Bob. I think his name was Bob. I think it was oh, Bob. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, uh, so that was it for me. Is I I was like in it for one, and then I watched two, and I was like okay, and then I watched three, and I was like okay, and then four came out, and I was just like, I don't even even really know if I want to watch this or not. Like you know, that was my expectation mm -hmm. going into it. But, but I'll, I'll leave my thought. Do you want my thoughts now? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you want? Oh, my God, it got me so good. <laughs> like, I, I agree. Um, I think my opinion are the same as yours. One was great. Two was bad. Three was better. And then I agree this one's much better. But go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not no, gonna say I, two was bad. I it just, was just it may forgetful or uh, forgettable. Um, but granted, it's been how many years now since two? So yes, I think that was it too. It's like the length of time in between when we're getting the seasons. Mm. It's like you know, going oh yeah, that show. I remember I liked it previously. Phoenix just anyway. was the redemption of Steve. Phoenix just so has that to was like the subtitle for season two. You just got to be the voice yeah. of reason to to try and defend something when I say it's bad. I'm devil's advocate. Every time. Opposite of always, everything you say. Always, That's why always. I'm here. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so... Go ahead. Yeah, no, it got me really good. I think you probably have more organized thoughts on it. I'm kind of all over the place. So do you want to go, and then I'll just interject where I have a thing? Oh, sure. I mean, um, I guess I'll just say, like, as far as the entire season went, I felt like this season started off incredibly slow. I thought it was going to be somewhere to the past few where I wasn't going to love it. And then definitely I'd say around maybe episodes like four, maybe three or four is definitely where I feel like it starts to spike. Um, mm -hmm. I would just say like, I feel like every plot I actually really liked. I would say like the only plot that I thread that I don't really like so far, I would say is the whole Russian thing. What do you guys think mm. about that stuff? I feel like that's oh. the only, that's the only part about this season where I'm like, what does yeah. this really have to do with it? This was my biggest critique about mm. the whole thing. Like, I may mean, have liked where the show's gone, but forgive me by for the all time of you... us agreeing on on <laughs> everyone. Wants by to hear the us time you get into like you know the third episode, there's five different plots happening. I mean, I understand that you have to have an A and a B line, but there's a C, D, and E line here too. Um, yeah, like, I, I think I count out. Yeah. You've got Hopper in prison. You've got Joyce and Murray trying to get Hopper out of prison. You've got L and the Doctors. You've got Mike, Will, and the Stoner Gang. And then you've got everyone else in Hawkins. Like, there's five stories to track here. And I know they, you know, cross paths and intermingle at certain points. But for one, that's just too much to me. Like, well, it's a lot fine, to track. But I feel like the one Russia Alaska thing just like it sticks out like a sore thumb compared to. Uh, all I mean, those it other does. Ones. But I have not really had a whole lot of fun with the Mike, Will, and Stoner crew. Like, what yeah, have they no. done? I mean, I there was it. Like, they were just kind of spinning their wheels. They have their whole little side thing trying to get Dustin's girlfriend, her crazy family. Mm. Like, that's the hokey storyline to me. Like, everything mm. they do is almost comedic. Um, you know, comedic. Uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, whatever. Like, um, thick. I will say, yeah, by, I mean, by now, or good, sir. No, no. What are you saying? So by now, I, I will say that this show. 
like it definitely is like definitely sticks out that it's incredibly tropey incredibly tropey and it's almost like just over the top sometimes and i get why the the whole purpose of the show is to be a it's an homage, homage. <laughs> it's homage very homage homage <laughs> Uh, and I get it. Like that's why there's like actors from other movies that are involved. That's why all this music from that time frame. It uh, it is like just an absolute rush of nostalgia. Like that's what the show mm -hmm. is, and I and I like that. I just but like, I feel like they play into it a little too they, much. It's all similar too hard. to that to Trek to Yomi, where like you know, you know, round in the bases like that. Like it just feels like sometimes it's a bit much. Even though like I appreciate seeing the Tron Legacy or Tron Legacy, seeing the original Tron posters, and like yes, I like mm -hmm. you know. Uh, you know all that stuff i just mean sometimes it's a little like nostalgia overload you know on the nose yeah mm. um, i haven't felt that way not necessarily i mean there have been a few hokey moments but in overall that really doesn't take me out of it too much though you know slow plot lines certainly have though mm -hmm. um jc you were gonna say something i saw it okay yeah uh basically i have like a, a likes and a i didn't like kind Go of ahead, thing just for it. Rattle them off. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um oh, oh, so this is kind of fun. I loved I loved that they did uh an homage or maybe a uh callback to the satanic panic of the 80s where like everybody's up in arms about like, you know, in real life everybody's I up in arms about D&D. I didn't yes, even realize they, that. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the whole, you know, premise where they're all ready to, like, burn, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the dungeon master at the stake because they're like, oh, it was a satanic ritual. And, all because like, their name is just Hellfire or whatever. Yes. And, well, Dungeons like, and Dragons during that time, they you know. They blamed everything on that. Like, every murder was, like, satanic ritual. Or, you know, a real serial killers are like, they oh, did. the devil made me do it. You know, it was they a did. whole... They did. It Nowadays, was video games I was just going to say, they do it now. <laughs> Yes, but I I like that it was true to the era, and I like that they brought it in. I thought that was fun. Mm -hmm. um, I loved the freaking cameo of uh. Or sorry, go ahead. I was gonna no go ahead no finish. Uh, I loved seeing uh freaking uh, what was his what's his name? I have his name here. Um, oh, Freddy Ro Krueger. Robert England. Getting yeah. to see Robert England, it was like yes. I mm -hmm. didn't realize that was him at first. I knew it was him right when I saw him. I was like, oh sweet, Robert Robert's in here. It's so cool. But sorry, go ahead. I like. I liked how um, all the scenes for this are like uh, the horror scenes are set in like the reds and things like that. Mm -hmm. I like that warm tone that they really use like the color and the visuals to kind of set the tone. I thought that worked really well. What did you think of that um, first death of uh, Chrissy? Seeing it for the first time, I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yes, it was very, it was very cool. I mean, you know, for someone who likes that Man, it's weird, like, weird to say, like, I thought the murder was cool. You're the, you're the problem. You liking this kind of stuff. You guys yeah, it's yeah. weird, though, because, like, that kill was just so graphic. Um, and, like, it's one of those things that, like, I'm horrified to see every time, but I am waiting for the next one to happen, too. Like, I don't know. It's yeah. just... Mm -hmm. You're horrified, but you yeah. want more. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The eyes, man. That's what gets me. Yeah. Yes, the very... That little cherry on the top. It wasn't the eyes for me. It was the seeing... The arms go the opposite direction. The arms going, yeah. the legs going the opposite direction. I was like, ooh, ooh, ow. Yeah, but like the. Oi, my back. <laughs> so, you know, those like cool, like horror kind of scenes, you know, that was really fun. The, and as soon as it happened, I was like, this right here, this is, I'm, I, I'm for this. That action sequence when um, they stormed their California house. When like you know the agents are in there oh, and they're yes, like, yes, yes. that was a cool okay, scene. so yeah, so the whole time you know they make the call for the pizza, they're setting it up to be this like comedic tropey kind of like, hoo, 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 we're gonna was escape, it, um, you know? Was it was it all one shot too? I don't think it cut. It looked like it. it didn't yes, cut at all. and and you were like stealing it. Oh, okay, sorry. Was oh, no, sorry. but yes. So they'd set it up to be this tropey thing, and then it was a nice like. Uh, twist that mm -hmm. it went the other direction and yes I do believe it was all in one shot that's usually something I look for because you know that's really hard to do and to, like to keep the tension up for that whole time yeah, and everybody's now, in their spots now and... as like an editor I notice cuts every time I see one they usually have hidden cuts yeah, yeah. now mm -hmm. that I'm editing stuff like constantly like I can I can see him co or totally so sorry good <laughs> yeah no, no no that was it so that like is where I was like okay yes I mean like 
the the little thing sprinkled in there like was like okay mm-hmm. I all right you got my attention when that hit I was like yes I'm here for it give me more of that so I was I was pretty much hooked in that actually I um, I, I will say just to combat my thought earlier about how there was no aspect of the hopper Russia stuff I I liked now I'm looking at my notes there was something I actually did really like and that was his whole escape scene from the prison where it was out in the snow and his fight in that little cabin. All of that stuff I kind of enjoyed. But other than mm-hmm. that, I guess maybe the, the Demigorgon scene was okay. Mm, I don't know. Meh, meh. Yeah, no, I was not yeah. for that. So, like it didn't um, need to be dragged out. They could have done all that like in half the time. Like cut some of the Joyce and Murray stuff out, let the Hopper stuff play out a little bit longer and oh, seeing, get to the point. Seeing what's his name turn on them was like, dude, that guy's going to turn on you the whole time. It's just like, it was so obvious. I don't know. <sighs> It made it more frustrating than anything else. Like you saw it coming, saw but it coming. You, at least for me, I was already like, "Man, this is taking too long." And then just thinking, "Oh, now the process is going to be even longer." I'm just like, "Oh, the whole Russian thing you guys have already got mentioned was to me the low low port part of the whole thing." And I don't really see what it's adding to the show. Like I know in season three they brought it in; it was kind of like the hokey thing, like the Russians are coming, the whole commie kind of deal. But um, I don't know here. I don't even see what the benefit is. Like I'm sure say, in the no... second and a half they'll add to it but no in this season with the russian stuff in my opinion there's absolutely no connective threading of it tying to the main plot whatsoever like Mm -mm. unless in the final two episodes they i don't know how unless they unless it ties somehow with the way they got that demi gorgon was that they have their own uh rift or, gate or, or something or, gate or something on their side i'm, I'm sure they'll tie it in but i can't imagine it's it's gonna be worth it like they could have probably rewritten it without russia at all and it probably would have felt more concise like this feels like just a you know a tool to keep everybody separated more and i don't think it's helped any character development for anybody mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. hopper i felt has been a little wasted there we got a little more backstory mm-hmm. with his you know military background but they could have dropped that anywhere else. Like, so, mm-hmm. it just feels like wasted time. Yeah, JC seems yeah. seem like she had something to say. No, I was just agreeing. Oh. Um, so the other thing that I liked is that you know I kind of forgot that the kids were smart, <laughs> like that they're nerds. So you know they're like D and D nerds, mm-hmm. but I kind of mm-hmm. forgot that they were like science nerds. And I was like, oh yeah, they were like the middle school AV club. They're oh, like yeah. nerd nerds, mm-hmm. you know. So they're like, oh, the electromagnetic and oh, my compass, compass and yeah. this and that. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's right. They're like science nerds too. Um, I- I'm glad that they kind of did that back because otherwise they end up being really flat, <laughs> like you know, yeah. like not a whole lot of dimension or um a skill or anything to have them do what they're doing which is solve all the murders i was saying one part of the murder. issue oh, i was gonna say i think kind of to that point like because they have so many characters now like it's a lot to keep up with remembering all their backstories how they got here and all this kind of stuff that i think is starting to you know be a detriment to the show you've got too many people and a lot of them are kind of wasted like mm-hmm. let's be real mike his only purpose in any of the, this show has been to be Elle's boyfriend mm-hmm. like i don't think he's done anything of major contribution and Dustin will besides being lost yeah. who dustin is one of the only like well and well dustin, dustin contributes only, yeah. um I don't feel like Lucas has done a whole lot. Um, Will is only important because of what he went through the first season. Right? Yeah, he's, he was gone. Um, yeah, so really, the only kid who's done something is, is Elle, Dustin. Elle and Dustin. And, yeah. yeah, so like, you've got, like, so they are kind of wasted, and like, Joyce is wasted, Murray is whatever Murray. Like, you just got a bunch of characters that you don't mm-hmm. care about, aren't contributing to the story, or it's just, they're just there. Even, um, oh, what's, I always forgot his name, uh, Nancy's actual boyfriend. Jonathan? Uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. He's become wasted. He's like, I don't remember what oh, he's... Yeah. I don't know. And then you got a new character with his stoner friend. You got Dustin's no, girlfriend. I, like, I like, hate that stoner no, friend. No, Argyle. No, no hate for Jonathan, but that actor is <clears throat> he's not my favorite in this show. I just I just think his character is kind of boring and I haven't given him anything to do. That's probably like they have all these characters that they've created and they give them a like one thing to introduce. I'm like, I want this character to do this one thing in the story and they do it. And now they're just there. Like well, we're forced to have them for the rest of the show because now they're just part of the you know the crew. All the so. characters that they've introduced. Yeah, just, oh, sorry, good. I kind of wish. I, I cut you off again. So I say it one more time. I said they have to keep them because now they're in the Scooby Gang. Oh. Yeah. Well, what I was gonna say is like, kill them off. 
I was, maybe that's pretty dark because they're kids. I, I, but, I deserved I, better. No, well, was, here's the thing: you got so many members now that aren't doing anything. I think how impactful it would been. Like, um, I know people probably didn't want Max to die, but that would have been a real, oh real gut punch God. if, like, they would have had her die running towards but, the thing. But, but like, like you're saying, that's why I re- like Max's brother was such a cool character because he mm-hmm, started Billy. off as a douche, had an arc went through some changes and then by the end of the season you're like rooting for this character to like be successful and turn things around and it's like that was like a really good character to, for that season you know that right. was one of the best characters of that season you know the thing is though, like so he was he was always set up to be a villain and mm-hmm. you know it's kind of the tragic you know a villain dies right as you know kind of comes around kind of thing but killing off heroes too man like i know it's dark and yes these are kids and i'm sure that's why they're not jumping to that well granted they've killed off other high school kids chrissy and that one little uh, yeah, uh, they were heroes. We did love them. you know what i'm saying like they're i guess apparently killing kids are isn't off the what, uh, have, table uh, they have plot armor Is that what they call it? yeah well no i think that could have added some it would have thinned the cast a little bit <laughs> and i don't know i think would have helped push things along mm-hmm. uh kill off, like they should have just killed off hop for real in the last season like Maybe. I, I know everybody likes yeah. Hop, but what has he added right now besides being the mopey? Oh man, I'm just I'm the curse to everybody's life. Like, you kill off Hop, then you don't have Joyce and Murray running off to Russia. You've kept them contained now. Hop now has kind of this legend to him, and like it's more meaningful. I don't know. I don't. And plus, it's not like you had a whole lot of time to even think he was dead. Like he died at the end of season three, and immediately in season one, he's back. Yeah. And, uh, oh, so funny thing! I was in Walmart the other day. You don't have to watch the show to know he's back. They had a Stranger Things themed flashlight. You can open up a secret message in it, and it says "Hops Alive," and that's plastered on the side of the box. So it's like, I don't know. You don't even get to revel in that. Yeah. So kill him off, mm-hmm. keep him dead. What do you think of Eddie? So you think he's a? I think he's been an entertaining character introduced. Yeah, I mean. He's been serving this role in the plot well, but here's my concern now. So you've introduced him to do this one thing in this storyline. I don't know how long this show's supposed to go on, if this is their last season. The or last got season more, is but... the next one. The next one okay. is the last season, they've said. So I don't know if Eddie's going to serve a major role in the next one, but now he's just going to be another part of the Scooby gang that we got to keep tabs on. Like, Actually, kill him I off. have a plot, I um, a plot issue I had that I wrote down here is... Uh... Oh, is I'm not quite sure why the group doesn't just let Eddie get arrested. Then the cops will see it isn't him committing the murders. Like, well, they don't necessarily know that there's going to be, be more another murder. murder. They could just pin it on him, like. But once you know. there was more than two or three murders, it's like, why don't you just yeah, but their hope is to prevent them too. Like they prevented Max's, like. I don't know. I, mean, I get what you're saying, and I guess in a way that could have worked out, but at the same time, it's a gamble, like. I don't know. You get him in the system, and then there is no other murder. Now it's all depend on him because they need a scapegoat. So yeah. I don't know. I guess another thing for me is how many times have you guys listened to uh, Kate Bush since uh, <laughs> since this series? <laughs> I know Kate, Kate Bush uh, I, on YouTube. She's like gotten millions of view or listens now to her song. Her. <laughs> I I didn't even. Yeah, it's I, a good song. I like I had never heard of the song before this. Sorry, go ahead, JC. Oh no! I said it was a good song. It's a good one. I liked it, especially for how they used it. And like, mm-hmm. man, yeah. that Max scene running, I was like, you know, I was like, oh, you know, they're setting it up that she's gonna die. She's writing all these letters. I'm like, oh man, it doesn't. And uh, Phoenix is like, she's not gonna die. You know, they're just they're setting it to. And then as she's running, I'm like, oh my gosh, they. Yeah, I thought she'd get squished the last minute. I and know. I think that would have been better. I do. You can hate me for I it, do, but I, I think th- it would have. I do think this season is suffering from a lack of, because um, once you have main characters stick around for long enough, then it starts feeling again like plot armor, where it's like, I get it. A lot of these people are safe. You know, nothing's going to happen. Which, this show which hasn't you... killed off any main characters yet, has it? Really, besides Hop got killed off. Hop, like, oh, a Bob. He wasn't a main character. He wasn't a main character. Was, Billy wasn't all. a main character. Like, the main crew has stuck around. Yeah. Which makes me now, like, okay, I'm not ever really all that worried about him. Like, I was pseudo worried about Max because, you know, she's that. still kind of a new character, but apparently she's, you know, got that armor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I guess we'll, again, this whole thing's been spoilers at this point, but what did you guys think of the whole myst- or mysterious uh, number one and all of that stuff and how he ties in? That stuff, Ooh. so cool, Ooh. I thought. Yes. That actor I was felt... awesome. He was like cynical. Yes. Looking, or, or, yeah. Like when uh when I'm starting to watch it, like 
uh, like I started getting that little inkling that maybe there was more to this. And then as he's explaining things, I'm like, no, that what he's saying is not adding up. And then like, I'm kind of on it, like just a few seconds before they reveal it. Um, you know, kind of what's going on. And that was really fun for me yeah. to be like, oh, figure it out and then get it confirmed like, you know, three seconds later. Mm. Um, I felt like this was a real payoff. Like this little mm-hmm. end or this mid season, mid term, I don't know what do you call it. Um, but this little break in the season, um, I feel like I got real payoff, which I felt like I haven't gotten in this show for a while. You know, like they tease stuff with uh, the Demogorgon, like in the first one where like it took you forever to see it. And then it was finally revealed towards the end. I really enjoyed that anticipation waiting for it. And I felt like we really got that anticipation at this one, especially because like it clicked for me. You know, when Elle's walking around and we think that she killed all the kids and thing, you know, you see them all, like, turn different ways and all this stuff. And then a second before we see one of their faces, I'm like, we haven't seen their faces, but it's not because... Like she oh, can't the eyes bear, or whatever. right? Mm. It's not because she, you know, couldn't bear to see them, or that we as the audience couldn't bear to see kids in that form. You know, it was because it was a nice little bow mm. at the end of the monologue of you see their face and you're like, oh my gosh, if we'd mm. seen this, we would have figured it out. Well, to be honest, like I, I just, I feel like I would have seen it coming more, but in Robert England's scene, I could have sworn he said something about both of his children dying. So we well, did. So that's but why he didn't know. Yeah. Like he he did say like uh, my son went into a coma and then he died shortly after. So mm-hmm. I don't think like uh, it was ever explicitly said to him that oh you know his kid ended up in an institution, but that's yeah. you know because probably hidden behind the scenes from him. Fair enough. I think what yeah. I've really liked about this is like throughout the entire you know series, I mean the you know the upside down the mind flow and all it's like they've been kind of the just anomalous big bad entities. Like what's their real motive besides just being bad? This is the first time there's been like something with context that relates to our characters that is behind all this stuff going on. Like, that's why I was saying, like, I'm not sure the Mind Flayer is the true big bad here. Because I know that's what Dustin said, but if you think be, about it... Because the... he went into uh, a, wor- a world that was already developed and evil. That was not... Well, it wasn't really creative. Like, so, yeah, there was a world there, but you see him getting sucked into it. It doesn't look like Hawking's yet. I don't see any other, like, creatures. That, I mean, granted, it was just a glimpse of it, but... I don't. It makes me feel like he is more of an instigator to me. Like I don't know. I could be very wrong. Because um, why would he be working for the mind flare? Like how does that benefit him? Like this guy has gone into it with a very clear motivation of what he wants to do. So I don't know. It almost feels like more the mind flare was a tool for him. Maybe I don't know. And I could be wrong. But yeah. I another see quick question is um is for me is. Is do, do does all of the scientists and Papa do they exactly know what exactly happened? Because it's they would have to. They watched the video. They have the video. Okay, yeah, I didn't think. Well, about yeah, it. I mean Brenner is is it Brenner or Brennan? Whatever Brenner, I think. Well, because Papa uh, he put the video on the end. Well, because Papa, because he says when when L comes to the door and forces it open, he says, "What have, what have you, you done?" done? So that's, but that's when he was in it. He hadn't watched this, you know, you know, retrospectively. But they now have a video. You, this is what ten years but, after that. He's had a video if, done. He's watched it since. So if Papa knew that, number one, that's was, why they want Elle to get her powers back, because they know this entity is out there. But if Papa, she's the only one. But if Papa, that's their whole the whole thing. They're setting up saying you're the only one that can do anything because she is the only one that's done anything with number one because. There. So. What did they do with number one? They chipped him so that he couldn't do anything because they didn't have any power over but him. But that's what I'm saying. If the whole time number one was under their influence and they had him chipped because they clearly know he's evil or something, why why have someone you can't necessarily control? I mean, I guess you could make the argument it's because they're taking from him. Because that's the whole gist is that they're taking from him and cloning it or, or moving it into these children. So maybe that's why they mm-hmm. just kept him around is because... Even though they know he's, he's too evil, valuable to he's too dispose valuable of. To just dispose yes. of. And they technically thought they did have him under control because he was under control yeah, till for he, how many years. You know, manipulated L. Mm-hmm. And if he hated L them so much, why did he like just bonk Pop on the head? Wouldn't he have like ripped Papa to shreds if he disliked him that much? I don't know. Well, maybe. Wait, he say was that in again. The zone. Who hates who? 
because you know, one, one hates Papa. One, one hates Papa and everything. He hates like society and all the children and everything. So like, why didn't he just like take Papa and just remember him worse than everyone else when he knows this guy's the one controlling him? Like I don't know. He just kind of bonked him on the head and was like, "I'll let you live." <laughs> Well, let Did me think about this. Head? No, he no, didn't. I think he blasted like a door. I don't think he went in there and like exterminated. I think he was just popping doors as he's going out. Yeah, I, I don't maybe. think there was ever necessarily an interaction directly with you know one after he got all his powers back and then Brenner. Uh, I mean, unless I missed that, but I think Why you're not? right. I think like Why Brenner not? got knocked Wasn't out. Brenner, Brenner probably the one he would hate the most. Well, yeah, but he made him run. I don't think he knew where Brenner was yet. I don't think. I think oh. it was, you know, just collateral damage. He got knocked down. Oh, he probably I didn't see. realize he was in there. And then by the time he, you know, was going to go search for him, that's when L encountered him and bam, got sent off mm -hmm. to wherever. So. Okay. Now, oh, the timeline you is... You sound like a, one of the, the, the showrunners here. I don't, I don't like yeah, this. I am. Yeah. Defending everything. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's weird because, like, it makes sense, but there's little gaps there, so yeah. you do have to kind of fill it in. Like even the timeline now, I'm trying to figure out because like, so did L create the upside down or it create it as it is? Because like the moment she sent this uh, one over to that side, is that when Gates started popping up around Hawkins, and that's when Will got sucked in? Because apparently the upside down was created the At day that Will the day got that sucked Will in. Got sucked in. I, I so are these the same event? I think it's all the same event. Yeah, mm -hmm. in my opinion, I, I think. I think L basically is the creator of, not the creator of of the the upside down, but she is like the, the, Hawkins the founder. Upside down. The Hawkins upside. Yeah, she's more like the founder. Or, I agree. But do we think it? Well, it's a question because when you see one getting you know sent into the upside down, it looks nothing like Hawkins yet, and L doesn't seem like she did anything to you know turn it into Hawkins. So did one recreate the upside down in the image oh, of but, Hawkins? But um, I just thought about it mm. like um. Because his house that he's hanging out in. Well, because well, where... Uh, I don't know, that's interesting. I was just thinking about it. Well, because it wasn't in the first season when... Like, it was on the wall, right? The the opening. The very first opening, it was on the wall in that science... I don't know, she kind of created it. That's all I'm saying. She created There was because, a gate there. Yeah. Because where she killed him, that's where that demigorgon in the first season comes out of. Because remember, wherever you die is where a portal gets created. Mm -hmm. Right, because well, is that true for every? I mean, that might be true. I, I don't know. It's hard to see if that's the same rule. So, because that's what happened in the season, right? Because every everywhere one of the kids died, they said a portal was created. I guess that would make sense. And that's where one died. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Because he died on that wall, and I remember in the first mm -hmm. season, it was that wall. There was like a crack in that wall, in that like almost exact spot where that demigorgon came out of. I don't know. It's... Yeah, so maybe it wasn't the exact moment that Will got taken, but within like the same day, probably because Elle escapes that day, Demi mm -hmm. Gorgon gets out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't know. There's definitely some questions there, and the timeline's a little weird, but it sounds like that's what they're going for. It all kind of stemmed from that event. Right. I'm curious to see how the Upside Down became the flip side of Hawkins. I'm not sure if Elle did that, or if one did that, or if it was something else. Maybe it is the Mind Flayer, but maybe it's interesting um, i'm glad there's questions now to wonder what's going maybe, on maybe like number one just like you said maybe he was the creator of the upside down and he just created what he knew it's that version of the what upside he knew down was, yeah. was that town and that was maybe that's where he was from you know he just created a a, a, a place that was yeah. something recognizable i don't know that's kind of tricky though uh it, it just makes me wonder if it's something about the the gate aspect of it of it sucks in kind of where it came from and and made something there mm -hmm. because if you think about number one he's like in a facility he doesn't really know the town like they don't let him out to be like but he grew up there as a kid at least for a little a kid, while yeah. he lived there long enough to probably get a feel for, for the town a little while but uh nancy's house is there with her shoes and her diary i don't know just something about that there's so much detail from one place to the other it seems like a weird thing Unless they're playing like he made it and he's a psychic and he knows what everybody else in the town is thinking. So maybe that's how he recreated it. I don't know. Mm. There's just something about that that doesn't seem they have a quite lot. Exactly. They have a lot to answer in these, reading, in these yeah. final two episodes. They have a lot to explain. I'm just glad there's some answers to Interest, be searching for now. Like yeah. Up to this point, like I had no idea where they were going with this. Because like, the end of season three ended with them killing the Mind Flayer, right? Or some, some entity like the Mind, of the mind Flayer. Yeah. So, Alan, I was kind of getting, like, just 
bored of that whole thing. Like, oh, the Mind Flayer is back. Let's kill him again. Oh, no, it's the Mind Flayer. So it's nice to see that there's some new intriguing component to this. Mm -hmm. There there's some questions we're trying to figure out. So I don't know. I'm for it. I like where they're going with it. I agree. Um, I, the last two episodes, I, I think the last episode of this previous first seven was an hour and a half. So I fully expect the last two to probably both be hour and a half long episodes maybe two each you know is it only two episodes it's only two episodes i believe the second part i think from oh i didn't know that i just i just saw, saw volume two i assumed it was going to be a whole something. set of episodes yeah uh, i could be wrong though i have not checked I will all right while you're pulling that up um i kind of want to f- just hop into what i really did not like about this season mm-hmm. um i was bored <laughs> Like, there are parts that blew my mind. I was like, yes, give me more. But other parts where I was, like, scrolling on my phone, mm-hmm. like, you know, all the California stuff. Like, I went to Russia. Yeah. yeah, like, I was just not there for it. So I would kind of, like, half pay attention for those parts and then pop in when it got good again. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I could do this, like, an abridged version where like, you cut out those parts and I just want the storyline that is, you know, concise and to the point. The main Hawkins storyline is good. Yeah, Everything yeah. else is just spinning um, its wheels. It says here Pretty that the, the final or Stranger Things season two finale is just two movies. Mm. So it's probably, I'm guessing, two two-hour length, you know. Mm. Okay. But I mean, that's fine. I mean, if it's yeah. to the point, I mean, the whole point we're just saying is like the first season felt bloated. Probably yeah. half the season could have been yanked out. It was what seven episodes, so Something knock it like down that. to four. That's about two movies worth of good content. So if these last two movies or episodes are focused, mm-hmm. and hopefully another Russia stuff will speed up because like, they're together over there. Maybe there'll be some revelations. They absolutely just... they have to have some sort of connective thread to this main plot. There has to be. Yeah, some I still don't think it's going to be big enough to be worth it, but you know they'll do something. Yeah. It was just I think it was really just feeling like padding. Like, you know, I, I didn't even, that was the whole thing. It was no purpose. Like, it just felt like fluff that was unnecessary. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I, I just don't know how you make a show like that where you're, like, making these parts that are so good and these parts that are so bad. <laughs> like, you know, I, I just, anyway. Uh. But I, overall, I'm hooked. I'm going to watch more of it, but I'm probably going to have my phone handy just in case, Yeah. you know, we have Play to chase Diablo. down. Yes, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think I'm going to move us on. I mean, was there any other, like, final thoughts you guys had? Overall, I think we're all, like, I was pleasantly... I actually went into these two shows at the same time, Obi-Wan and Stranger Things. I watched them back-to-back, and I was expecting to like Obi-Wan much more than Stranger Things, and I actually found myself liking Stranger Things slightly more than Obi-Wan. I don't know how you... Well, Stranger Things gave you more. Like, Obi-Wan was just two episodes. This was a bulk, so... Yeah, fair enough. 